rogue. <clears throat> okay, just compare the warrior. In chapter one, it's the same. Hey. <clears throat> so you can just go do chapter one again. But you probably get more stuff in chapter two, right? Tea break? Uh, no, I just made tea. And it's not pea break. So bonus resources, enemy strength, they go up by 5%. Enemy strength growth per loop goes from 2 to 3. Max amount of resources, 20. Okay, and let's compare these two. Warrior doesn't have any particular benefits or disadvantages. Has highest durability compared to other classes. 2% for, plus 2% damage for each second of the fight. Okay, so high evasion <coughs> um, can be good because you naturally start damaging more. So, evasion with vampirism, you, you do more damage to the end of the fight. Oh, he gets a different item spot. So you don't get rings, you get boots instead. Or you get another dagger, not a shield. Interesting. So additional class stats, damage, damage to all. More evade, more crit, attack speed, no vampirism. Okay, I didn't like the cemetery, so let's pull them out for village in. We can have Vampire Mansion. I want to keep Spider Cocoon in though. Or do I? I think so. Let's let's keep it like that. Oh, he's got 5% base vampirism. Oh here, has 5% base vampirism to start, 10% bonus for any effect for every equipped item with the same effect. Oh, interesting. What was that? What is this? Hero's experience? What's the experience for? Whoa, why is... Look at this, the maps... Why, why is there so much dark on the bottom? Isn't there normally I can build down here? No, is that the bottom? Is that always been the bottom row? At that corner? I guess so. It is for leveling. Oh, you gain traits. A <laughs> trauma. Yeah. Okay, what do we got here? Which doesn't matter. We found out. Oh, this could have been one to do a thing. One, two, three, four, five. Look at that. It's a five by seven. That would have been great for like a megalopolis thing, but you can't do that. You only get one mountain. Only one mountain. I still want it to be five wide, so it has to go there. Um, <clears throat> normally no leprechaun, but I've done enough of the exploring blindly where I'm happy to have people um, say some things. So go right ahead. Thanks for asking. Okay, so I want to put a grove either side of our base <clears throat> to stop jerk from building jerk stuff there. Try not to put weapons on first loop. Get more gear and experience. So, how do you get more experience by not using weapons? The 
because fights take longer, so more enemies spawn. Right, I guess. <laughs> Does leveling up... Do you always start each new loop with level, or is this a meta experience for the entire campaign? First loop enemies are weaker, but they also give crap. I see what you're saying. It's for each mini campaign. Yeah. Do you get more experience for second loop enemies? Like, is this one of the things where, in World of Warcraft, you can spend three hours killing boars to gain one one experience point, just so that someone who played the game regularly finishes two hours before you and has an easier time anyway? I feel like if you could hold it indefinitely and do something like training in FTL, that would be a good strategy because you get to max out something and, and you benefit from that straight away. But killing an extra like two slimes over the course of a, a 10 loop run where you kill hundreds of enemies. <clears throat> More hot pockets. So I definitely want to use boots then, right? So what do we have? 4% evasion or 9% evasion? I think high evasion is probably better. Okay, and then... Hit points? Hit points is probably good. And I totally get what you're saying, and I think there's relevance to it. I just don't care. I'd rather just kill stuff. I wonder if we want to go counter. Counter and evasion instead of attack speed? I think for starting now, counter's probably okay. Especially if you've got high... Oh wait, we can two-hand? Yeah, someone else has Papo. They're going to take him outside so he can um, do pee -pees. So when you when he gets put outside instead of walked out to the grass, if you don't carry him out to the grass, he'll bark and and, and uh, he'll bark all the way up to where he's going to go pee so the birds don't pick him up and fly off with him. What, the, what he thinks. Now, spider cocoons. I think spider cocoons are okay. Grey Wolf Jai, thanks for the 10 gift subs, my man! Welcome Irish Stalker, Bonfire of Hope, Leprechaun X, Craftily Corosus. Chromo, you've got a, you've got a, um, another Erosus to contend with. Spooky the Great One, Freeze Light 21, Duduk 37, Dilfy for the win, and a Mossy Leaf. Great Wolf Dry, thanks again, my dude. Appreciate the support, man. Why did you get a gift sub even though you're not following? Well, you can change that. Just hit that follow button. We're getting close to 5k. Feels good, man. Let's go ahead and get this battlefield here. And get Mr. Rock there.
No, and I think people that are currently in the channel that hit a, a certain requirement from Twitch are more likely to get it as well. Because, like, if you're here to get it, it's, that's kind of cool, right? How do we think about the Spoders? You guys like the Spoders? No, gift sub's not for followed. Um, <clears throat> that's a myth. You have to have at least been in the channel, though. I don't, th I, w I don't know what would happen if you had a massive burst of gift subs, and. Um, You, um, you know, everyone who had ever been in the channel that still had an account on Twitch had one. If someone then gave, if it just went to some random, there'd probably be an algorithm for that as well. Only popped in five times. Were you here when you got it? Or did you pop in because you got it? You don't have to be in the channel, but I wonder if the algorithm prioritizes someone who's here. There are times where people who have never been in a channel got, got subs. Really? I think that happens when... I think what happens with those ones is that you might have been um, watching someone who hosted another channel. And that counts as being in there. Wow, that gets rid of all your stuff. So you can't really choose to hold something for later if you think something's good. All right, Grafjai, thanks again for the generosity, man. Really appreciate it. Helps it a lot. Love the support, dude. Have a great weekend. Dude. From channels you've definitely never visited? Yeah, but what happens when people, like, you leave your computer and a channel raids a channel and then another channel raids the channel and then that channel raids the channel and you didn't even know two of the ones you were in? Yeah, or maybe it's a front page channel and you're on the front page. I don't know exactly how it works, but the, it'll definitely be a thing. Wow, okay, let's look at the, the threes first. Okay, so don't... Or chest. This is confusing when it swaps it out, because now you got to check all your items. It's like, I kind of want to, but... Wow, okay. So, the one we're checking is... Alright, so up the top near the middle of the screen, like the left weapon, that's the top weapon here, is over here. And the bottom one is this weapon here, and the one next to the inventory is what I'm looking at. They're both four to sixes, so... That's also got some attack speed. They're all upgrades, but whether I go attack speed and whether I keep counter, and counter and attack speed don't play the nicest together, but it's still better than nothing and nothing. Although, having two high damage weapons could just be better. If we've got evasion, I think counter's probably better overall. Hey, two curbs. Everyone's been streaming it because. Dig um, Devolver Digital? Digital Devolver? Uh, Devolver Digital. They reached out to enough of the big name streamers and said, hey, here's sponsorship. And those guys did it which brought in the medium and the small streamers. Plus, it's a great game. You know, very similar to what happened with Monster Train. So we'll see what's happening in a week's time, eh? But it, it's a really fun game. Which explains why a lot of those um, big streamers was, are still streaming it. And why a lot more people are playing it. It's really well designed. I haven't come across any bugs. Um... Hasn't crashed, hasn't done anything wrong, except been really cool. Um, I don't know how well it holds up for a second playthrough straight after a first, like if you beat it, campaign-wise. Um, or even a second campaign later down. But it's, it's still fun. 
that's that's probably the only concern that I can see straight away. Yeah, it's no Angel of Darkness. Is like, do you can? Uh, that's the mileage may vary depending on like how how much you play games like Darkest Dungeon or anything else with a campaign. But it seems to be a fairly low variance in randomness, or at least to a point where you can uh, deal with it. Which again leads back to a comment that was made. The difference of watching someone who looks at the numbers versus someone who's just like put bigger number on why did i die to boss rng you know campaign is probably around 30 hours i honestly think you could quite once you get the hang of it and you knew what to look at numbers wise you could probably you know do it without a single death repeatedly yeah and it could be something to come back to every now and then be like let's do another loop hero because it's fun because it is fun. Alright, so what do we say? Boots are 9% evasion, so I'm going to need better boots than 9% evasion. And I don't have any. I've got equal, so leave that. Chest is just a flat 98, so we could go for like a 281 or a 282 with attack speed. Alright, let's do that. And then weapons. We have a counter weapon, which is okay but low damage and there is another attack speed one but I think we're going to be building into evasion anyway evasion and, and counter I still want to get high damage early on just so I can like murder stuff so let's go with the murdering alright we've got attack speed and evasion but no counter murder 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 After 10,000 loops and killing a, a single chest, putting on the level sword and I'm going to battle with what it crashed. <clears throat> is that legitimate or is that just something funny? Because either way, it's funny. <laughs> hey, if this person never gets hit. Alright. Um, heals 30 hit points upon entering. Gives you a quest. Okay. Give me a spoiler, chat. The vampire thing. Do I want to put that like inside a U shape with a village here? Or does it not matter? You did a you did 10,000 loops. And you... So how did you not have slimes? Or something? Oh, you didn't. Someone else did. It needs to be adjacent, but one vampire can service several villages. Okay. So, so like, multiple villages around a U with a vampire in between is probably good, right? get that quest next loop. No spoilers? No, I was asking. I'm okay with some stuff now when I ask. Alright, so I really want to be checking um, loot along the way since when we get to the end we're going to like ch change the loot up. Oh, you get bandit camps? Nice. They similar to um, when you have too many rock things and you get the mountain stuff. Oh, that's right. I don't get loot along the way. It goes into the thing and I get it later. Bandit camps are worse than goblin camps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
How's this rogue gonna go up against goblins? This one type at bandit camp? Nice. It's like a vamp in your bandit. <laughs> Tom is a fish, my man. Or oh, my fish. How you doing, Tom? Thanks for the raid, dude. What were you playing today? Welcome everyone, we're playing some Loop Hero. It's pretty good. And we're doing okay. We beat the first boss. Things are happening. Let's, um... Let's put weapons over here so I can compare them. Think. Chests. Let's prepare the chests. We currently have 4% attack speed, so we just want to get something better than that, I guess. More defense. Okay, that's less hit points, but more crit and crit damage. That's big damage. Can we go big damage weapons? There's a look at that critical damage. But what's our base critical percent? Do we have a zero crit percent at the moment? Is that what happens? Oh, no, there it is. It's a 10% crit chance, but we can really improve the crit damage if we want. Okay, they're, they're better boots. Let's go ahead and put those on. Put those there. Oh, into the breach? I love into the breach, man. Do we want big damage or do we want um, big hit points? I'm a little worried about the hit points. The evasion isn't as high as where I want it to be. I'll take that instead of that one. Let's put that up there. Just kill stuff better. <laughs> We'd like to have, have, have a ton of fun. A ton of fun's where it's at, man. As long as you have having a ton of fun. Oi! Spawns a bandit on adjacent tile every two days. Bandits prefer villages. Appears for every two village tiles. Wow. They are giving me lots of hit points though. Where's my quest? Is that the quest? Oh, you gotta kill that enemy? What do you get when you click the quest? Man, I wanna get this mountain. But things. Oh, that's... I wonder if that's good for us, because it means the ogre, the things could go opposite directions, and because we hit it twice a loop, they won't fill up as much, maybe? Quest done. Oh, we get Oblivion. Alright, chat. How bad's the bandit compared to the goblin? Do we want to get rid of the bandit camp or the goblin camp? Both. I like, I like where you're at, heads at. Let's get rid of that for now.
Hey, I'm very concerned about this person who's not supposed to be taking damage, who is currently taking a ton of damage. Um, I don't want that spider thing, I want less enemies. Because of because of because of the spider nest. <clears throat> A little worried about this fight right now. I'm not gonna lie. Dead. <clears throat> Rogue sucks. Um <laughs> Try again with Rogue? I didn't think it was the village that did it. I think it was the spider nest that did it. So, let's... I don't think we can build anything. Have a quick look. No. Close, though. But I do anything different. Probably just don't take spiders then. Maybe we can deal with spiders later. <clears throat> but does that mean we don't want to take them early? Because getting four, yeah, having three spiders <laughs> on that map, it was just brutal. <clears throat> I kind of want to see what the Vampire Mansion does though. Get rid of spiders. All right, Severo. Well, like I said, I got we got nine hours, twenty minutes to go. Wow. Should catch some PVZ at the end. At some point, we're gonna have to stop looping um, and hit Outer Worlds up. Maybe even worth doing Chapter One with that one to get a better feel of it. I don't know. We'll see. Not this time, though. Oh, we're looping backwards. Crazy time. Alright, T. Thanks for hanging out, dude. Appreciate it. Maybe I'll see you when you get up. Okay, let's get that. First things first, we want to get stuff around our base so boss can't do stuff, right? Totally fine with that. Now, let's have a look. I need a 5x5. Five five. We've got a 4x4. Four four. Let's get the 5x5 five five up there. No, oh, you put it in the wrong spot, moron. Oh, pans. Pans. That's rock. Should be there. We'll oblivion it. We'll just have one dumb one. Alright, now we need to vampire to service a, a village. Do we... I don't know if I want a vampire yet now. Um, maybe the vampires are too scary. We'll find out. Alright, let's get these treasuries down. Another treasury there and complete that. That's good. As for mountain, 
Dang mountain, why can, can it play that? They should be able to play that on there. Let's see what happens. Two slimes, one fight. Have a look what we've got. Counter versus crit. Armor. Right, let's see just the armor pieces. So just armor pieces we have it's flat max HP or crit damage. Let me put the crit damage on that. You get more XP from enemies when there are multiple enemies in the fight. Okay, so two slimes will give you more than two fights of single slimes. So we've got seven. And then four. Yeah. That's interesting. Let's see what happens here. We're on forty six. Hey, we found a vampire. Back off, human. A vampire? Where are your lands? If your farmers need help, I'd be glad to offer it. No more lands, no more flock. Only hundreds of years of emptiness. And hundreds of years of hunger. Save yourself while you still can. I don't know how long I'll be able to keep my head straight. Hundreds of years you're talking about. Your mind is easily to trick, but you can't trick my hunger. It demands its share. Every sip, every drop of blood will go to satiate it. I'm too weak, but you can help me. I will set this crumbled world right. Right, I'm doing this not for myself, but for everyone. In the name of good. So be grateful for my hard work and let me bleed you dry! Okay, that one gave seven, but I'm guessing because that food was there. Vampires often owned our lands. They kept the peace, helped the settlements to prosper. But this won't do it all. Now they're just pale shadows of their former selves, both physically and mentally. Apparently the blood of other creatures can't sustain them. He wasn't joking about the hunger. Even the creatures that stand near him imbued with the power to devour someone else's life. Does that mean we have to eat his life? Alright, 76. So we're thinking this slime will put us on 80. Wait, there's another vampire here as well. So we're getting seven from that. Well, nice, we got a thing. So if we can have a fight without a vampire, thanks, game. One oh six. One ten. Yep, you're right. Multi fights are giving you more. Oh, we got an oblivion already. Can blast that stupid freaking thing that I mistake. No, that's right. Alright, Fights always have a vampire. Okay.
à chaque chuse. Chuse, 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 chuse. 6% evasion. We just gotta beat 6% evasion. What's the best one though? Straight up 12. With some defense. 9 with some defense. Straight up 12. Chest. Crit damage. <clears throat> well, we wanna do this counter thing. <clears throat> Max HP and counter seems okay so far. Well, those boots are 5 evasion. <clears throat> with crit damage chance. points in the counter. We go evasion counter. Mimic. You're supposed to just sit there and take that. <clears throat> What's wrong, Wagner? What's going wrong, my dude? Is it because of the vampire? get to do the village thing. Let's... Oh. <laughs> What's going on there? Ransack village. Spawns up to four ghouls once per loop. Transforms something useful after three loops. Right. <laughs> Looks like ghouls are pretty strong. So you might not want to do that early game. You almost definitely don't want to do that early loop. Okay. That's, that's, okay. That's fine. Definitely don't want to do that early loop, I don't think. It's worth it if you do it early. I don't think you can do it early. Like, how do you survive that? I think that's... Like, if the answer is, oh, that's okay, just you only lost five minutes, go again, and then wait till you get the one where you get that dream start and you do survive it, and now you have a really good run, I'd rather just play better all the time instead of wait for her to get Dead Branch and Corruption, you know? <clears throat> good, I'm glad that's not the answer. So, uh, you, uh, if you get a certain item that allows you to do it early, having the... Uh, the knowledge or the capability to calculate it and be like, I think we can handle this and surviving. I think like leading to a, a really good early run. Again, I don't know. I'd rather just have a standard run where I play well all the time, not just get something out. Yeah, you got to know when you can do it. But I think even if even if it's later, it could, that it could end up being valuable. Who's being mean to you, Wagner? Do you want me to beat him up? I'll beat him up. You do it with lanterns? Does that mean you'll only have three enemies and the vampire?
Oh, if you put two lanes, you're gonna get two in a vamp. That's interesting. <clears throat> That's possibly doable then, right? Now, gotta to remember to put this in the right spot. We're five by five. In there. So that goes in that corner. Or we can go there. Because that's three wide. Five by three, two five by threes. Okay, so that goes there. Yeah. And rocks go in the other ones. Let's do it. Yeah, if you get some good item stats early. Actually, village there and there would have been really good. I gotta remember that. Because I've got to put something on the road there. Oh, I don't want my dude though, I want a grove. how many loops you can do without taking any gear and not putting anything down type of deal like nothing that would create enemies things you know so you're only fighting slimes every time around is that what that dude did that broke the game that had to be it right all right boots Let's have a look at boots. Magna, are you still there, my man? Yeah? Okay, so we just straight up evasion. Oh, that's nice, plus 2%. Okay. Then on chests, <clears throat> straight up, just straight up hit points, 88, 183. And I guess we're just going straight up weapons, right? Let's go. Boom. What did we get out of that? <clears throat> What's going on, dude? What are you playing lately? Ninety scratch. Thanks so much for the six months, man. Appreciate all the support, dude. Congrats on the uh, gold P plate. Oh, we got a treasury. complete okay where's the uh, the spoiler chat what is the actual benefit for doing this quest from a village we got a corruption out so now we can mountain Items at the village. Okay. Dark and Crotch Thotty, how you doing, baby? Oh, it is an item when you get to the village. Okay, cool. Um, evasion bonus. A little bit of max HP down, but evasion up and damage to all. Not too bad. Alright, let's do that. Something okay. There's something okay. There we go. Meadows there. 
grab ourselves another treasury, maybe. Ghosts, man. Let's have a look at the items. Okay, there's only one weapon to check out here. Uh, and it's more damage and a bit of defense. Let's take that instead of the old... Uh... Let's put that there. Really didn't matter which one. Um, chests. Alright, there we go. That's got evasion. Or crit chance with more H max HP. I, I like the evasion idea. Six and two, six and two, seven and three. Or straight nine. Straight nine. You've been playing three houses, eh? I think I'm gonna keep my eye on the um, on the bandits, though. Ghosts are annoying, man. Okay, gap of two, gap of one. Yeah, a little too much, hey. You get resource when you go through the wood, pick up some pick up some sticks. There's another village. I'm gonna hold on to this one though, right? We don't want that bandit camp. Or do we? Probably not. I'm gonna wait on that oblivion, I think. Oh, can't play that. How much of an upgrade is it? When we hit, um, when we level up, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Depends on the trait you get. Is that random or do you choose? Is one of three random. Oh, nice. Quest is right there. I like that. Okay, here we go. We only have we got two boots to check. Um, rest. Oh, there's boots. Okay. Five and five. Evasion five percent crit and defense. I don't know. stats on the weapons. One of them's got defense though, but I think... Wow, this is terrible. H26 is probably the best one. 18 to 26. Hit points are good and all, but if we're not supposed to be taking damage...
Hey, kids, run. How you doing, man? How you been? Yeah, yeah, we got a win with, um... Uh, with the other dude, and then we unlocked Rogue. I figured, you know, may as well try the other dude. It's my first day playing. So just exploring. Ah, oh, that's alright, man. I was wondering what... Um, where you been? Valkyrie keeps, um... Uh, Yuli hiding. Spelling it completely wrong, but that's... That's okay, right? Um... Asking where that Keyzone is. What happened to Keyzone? up to that dude any news what happened to your computer did it did it get old or are you just doing other stuff with it now my laptop decided to go and get old wasn't happy about that it's it's still limping along but Ghosts, man. Ghost of a ghost, man. Are there ghosts of ghosts of ghosts? What was that? Was, was that a ghost of a ghost of a ghost? Intricate structure. Its walls forces you to use your brain. And remember, I don't want to use my brain. Started bloating. Interesting, which I believe means the battery has gone bad, is planning on setting fire to all his stuff. Hmm. Fast, the hero receives 7% less damage for every enemy, starting after the second enemy. Ooh, okay. Picky lowers the quantity of items received on camp tile by 3 while increasing the quality in exchange for trophies. What was the quantity of items? Okay. Every 10% of lost HP gives you 0.5% chance to instantly deal a thousand percent damage. That sounds like a like a, a, a super RNG build, which I don't know if I want. Although if you have really high evasion, that could be kind of okay. But I don't know, man. <clears throat> Hero receives 10 percent for damage for every enemy. Starting, which is doesn't help on boss fights though. Are we going to be fighting a boss this time? Probably not. Well, you never know. Lowers the quantity of items while receiving the on that's three. I think I might take picky. Get better, better loot. And what is this? Picky is awesome. I'm a good pick. Uh -huh. Does nothing, takes up a lot of space. Really? Spoil me, chat. What's going on here? Two, one, let's go two again. Am I gonna die here? Maybe. Maybe I need more hit points. Oh, we're about to heal. There we go. 
<laughs> well, I didn't get three less items, though. Counter with big numbers. Have a look at the... What do we got first? Some chests. Right. Counter or evasion? I mean, I want the counter, but I want the evasion more. Evasion. Six evasion with some crit. No, I want the, I want the evasion. Ooh, okay. Let's just go ahead and take those. That's got counter and big number. So that's going to replace probably the axe. Easily replacing the axe. And then probably replacing the sword. 12 to 18 with... So this is kind of cool when you can take a, a, a lower damage weapon, but you get the bonus and I'm assuming the bonus because of the way the stats line up here is that getting crit damage and crit chance damage on a, a slightly weaker weapon is okay because you've got a stronger weapon that's doing stuff feels like a, yeah, you attack with both weapons at the same time let's go ahead and put that up there Flip around. Kinda <laughs> does reset your attack timer. So it still means that, like, I agree, I wouldn't want to have a build where I have high attack speed <clears throat> and counter. But if the choice is a weapon that uh, you know that is more damage and it has both, um, attacking faster is still attacking faster. But if your counter is high enough to where you're never actually getting your own attack in anyway, then you're going to want to dump the attack speed. But if while you're starting and it's still low, getting a natural attack in a bit quicker and then being getting a counter in halfway through your attack bar, you're still going to get more attacks. But yeah, you definitely want to dump one of them and then push for a high value on the other one. What is the grey bar in the attack area? Ooh, we've got another treasury. about is stamina. Okay, what does the stamina do? Does something not work if you run out of it? <laughs> limits a high attack speed. Okay. So it puts a, a kind of a cap on uh, attack builds.
Hey, Mathos, I have no idea what the maze card does. I kind of want to use it. It says, does nothing, takes up a lot of space. So, should we just play it? You want to put it, put it in something? Like, what do you want to do? Put it somewhere and like wrap it, wrap things around it. Let's just put it here. <laughs> Did it fill up a lot of that? That's what the maze card does. Yeah, I wonder how well it um, sneaks into um, empty squares. One of the issues with counter builds too, and I don't know how many times it happened, but it splits your damage. So unless you've got really good evasion, when you fight against multiple enemies, you're going to be whittling them both down at the same time, sometimes. And that can be, I don't know, somewhat deathly, I guess. I wonder what happens if you make a ring of other train and put a maze in the middle. That's interesting. Yeah, that could be cool. Unlocks the swamp card. What's the swamp do? <clears throat> I want to find out. I just want to check out this stuff. I kind of just want to unlock everything. Let's just unlock everything then. That there. By the anvil of the seven seas, it's a small forge. Yo ho ho, you have no idea how I've missed the heat of a furnace and the smell of metal. We'll have some good tools now, you can be sure of it, lad. You'll even be able to use some during these trips of yours. You're quite enthusiastic. Something tells me you're not a stranger to seamanship. Shiver me hammers! How did you know? It doesn't matter, though. You're right, don't worry, I'll prove to you that these hands can hold a hammer as good as they hold a helm in a storm, and for a dozen days in a row if needed. What does X do? Yeah, I think that's a good standard take. Some of them haven't been, but I'd prefer people to assume that they're rhetorical and then just come in and be like, place this monkey on this spot and give it these updates, and then on turn three, put this monkey here and then hit the, the go button. It's like, yeah, thanks, dude. Craft tools for camp. We'll see what happens. Did we unlock anything else? No. Okay. Oh, I want the where's the where's the card for the thing? Hey, 
How can you be a contrarian now? What's a contrarian? I want to be a contrarian. Starts with warrior's gear. Alright. Oh, look at that. Okay, so we can actually have something if we wanted to. I guess putting that on is not bad to start with. Like, just to... Okay, where's a 5x5? Five five? There, perfect 5x5. Five five. Alright, you go there. Put a sword on. Yeah. I don't care about... Maybe I get to fight another half a slime. So we've got the Outer Worlds coming up next. We'll play that for quite a few hours. And then um, wrap things up with some old school plants versus zombies. Being against... Oh, Big Fury. I can't be a contrarian. I do the alternative, which is spelled with a U instead of an O. <laughs> I'm a countryman. But I grew up in the city. You don't agree. Well, now you're being just contra- Oh yeah, ah, I see. See what you did there, Wagner? I approve. All right, boots, chest. Thing? Anything with a thing, no? Let's do that then. Head back to town. Okay. Man, I hate seeing it like that. Yeah, that's better. Kind of weak. Whoa, look at that. There's a huge chunk there. Let me just put it there and work from that way down, I think. Oh, I can either do it in three, three by fives, or five by threes. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Or if I go one, two, three, four, five, I can go down to six. And then I can go, okay, let's do it that way. I mean, it always goes in the corner. But... Go! Oh, I don't want to listen to cricketing teams. Heh, <laughs> especially the Australian cricketing team. We've got an early oblivion, which is nice. getting a bit hungry too. I'm going to have just a really good loop run. Even if we don't kill the boss, I just want to get a really good run with this rogue. Or oh, three slimes. How much experience do we get for the first one dead? Like 48. 10 for the first one. Then 7. Yeah, multiple slimes is um, good for fights. That's good experience, I guess. Um...
Want to have a live stream session with me while watching a good cricket match? Interesting. 2020 or a one day? Probably have to be a 2020. That's still a long time though. I mean, we could probably work something out. Is that slime going to die if I put that there? Yeah, 2020. Where do you live? You're in J you're in Japan, right? I don't know. Maybe I you know, I don't know. Mrs. Pants might if I if I go to Japan, she might um. Do they play cricket in Japan? She might not let me back in the house. Okay. Boots first. Just straight up 12% evasion. Let's do that. Alright, chesticles. 272 with no stats. Oh, they're also boots. 6 evasion, 2 damage door. No. Um, so, health down, evasion up. Weapon. Evasion. 6 to 10 evasion. Good chance. Good. That was a good day. 2020 is so last year. Nice. <laughs> there should be 21, 2021 matches. The team with the lower ranking gets 21 overs to bat. And now we're onto something. Slime. Yeah, this rogue bag that you trade stuff in for later. That's kind of cool. And it does mean you only have to check loot once a once a once a loop. Um <laughs> you want England to bolt they suck? Well Okay, yeah, that's fair. A test match would be fun. Whoa. Five days of drinking beer with bag now. I think I could deal with that. Good too, but rocks, please. Okay. Let's put the weapons up top so I can see what we're doing. And then chests. Let's get the boots down the bottom so I can see what I'm doing. They're all chests, they're boots. Okay. We've got straight up 12% evasion boots, we can go to 7, or 10 with 4 magic damage, or 15. Crit damage is good too, though. let's just focus on getting that evasion number nice and high. Um, chest then, which is 10% evasion, 157. It's fine. Weapons. Nice stats. Crit damage. Crit damage. What do we have at the moment? There's an 8% evasion on that one, which I kind of want to keep. So we'll focus on the big one. Give him the big one. Ten to 
14, 27, that's probably fine. Let's go. That's the over. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. I wonder if game designers have started to consider how they design their game UI so streamers will have a place to put their face. I think there would definitely be some thought there, but I don't think it would be very high. Generosity man with the five gift subs, you're up to 226. Man, massive total. Welcome, Akron 30, Dr. Gerbil, Ishimaru, Havoc Thunder, and Yuck Lucas. Agda Mum Man. Mate, return back to you infinitely. Infinitely probably doesn't work, but yeah, you get it. Lots. It would be one more thing to criticize. Streamer window area is in the wrong place. Yeah. I think if you're going to intentionally do that, something like what's happened here, where sometimes it might come down a little bit, sometimes it might be a bit higher, you know, maybe that's the best way to go. But for the most part, I think having a space, and it's all different. People have different sizes, right? Some people are like this big, some people are like up here. That's probably better, it's like not having a specific rectangle, but somewhere where you can get something in. And a lot of games do. Very few games decide they want to fill up everything. There are some we've played though where information overload's been high. Right, it's going well. All right, so this is five now. So that's. 19. So one more and I need to get rid of a thing. Now taking a bit of damage. About to heal though. Oh man, ghost. Just don't have a ghost of a ghost. What's with ghosts, man? That's our cozy camp. So we just picked up some stuff, didn't we? 15% evasion on boots. So we picked up a lot of boots that... It's got counter as well. Oh, plus extra evasion. Five. Okay, so that's like 6% evasion and then 8, so that's 14 evasion. That's pretty close to what we've got. I do like the ghost look kind of silly. Have you seen the ghost of a ghost, man? It's really scary. Oh, we got it. Oh, that's because we leveled up. Okay, Master of Fencing. 10% chance to simultaneously attack two targets. Match HP 
Max HP is increased by one for each received trophy. Ooh, I like that. I wonder if it does it when we get the trophy, and if we get a current from it. Yeah, I've seen a bunch of games that have the resizable windows. They're not bad. Plus it just lets players put stuff where they want. Man, we just got these new boots. I don't want them though. Okay, so boots are probably not going to get upgraded for a while. We need quality upgrades. Like, these are really poor quality stuff. 10% um, evasion chest. Where's the chesticles? No evasion. 14% counter. Oh. Okay. 8 evasion. 10 to 14. Just crit. I feel about that's a lot of to one let's put that there we do have an oblivion so we can I wonder if putting a village down and oblivion that would have been better no one will ever know yeah, let's go again whoa get critted okay dude oh dude I didn't check our hit points Max is 6.06. Okay, you get it when you get the kill, which is nice. I'm going to put battlefields around our cozy camp so that we're not... Oh, you can't build on the corner. Oh, we'd have to put something else on the outside so that dude can't go there. Got to stop dude from building there. We also need to get um, some more treasuries. Harpy. We two shot the harpy though, which is nice. Oh, that's it. Okay, that's good. Where do we want to put this village? We can probably put it there. I wonder if we get rid of our chest though, if we put it there. It does get rid of the chest. That's a shame, but... I'm willing to do it just so I can have something on the road so boss can't, if we do want to tackle the boss, he can't do anything. I don't to evade, I evade. Don't evade. Next fight's gonna be tough. Mm. Yeah, something about Rogue, I just don't get. I like the character, I think it's fun, but I'm just not, it's its not working with me. And I don't think it's because it's chapter 2 versus try, chapter 1. I think I'm just doing something not good. We'll have a, we'll have a crack at chapter 2 with, um, with the warrior type thing. We'll have a look at the build thing. Get a herbalist hut now. Smelter. I want to unlock the smelter, but that's a long way away. But maybe we get more of those in um, chapter two. Don't know. Let's find out.